Hello everyone. In this video, I will show how to write multiple constructors in a single class in a Scala programming language. So, uh, for example, we are taking example of account, bank account. So, when we specify argument at the time of class definition, a primary constructor is defined at the time itself. Like, let's say we want to create a class account with three fields and these fields we want to make it first one account id so let's account id the data type of account id will be integer and then second name will second argument name data type string and then balance double So this is a simple class. If you can see, this class is not having any definition. But here, when we have provided these three parameters, a primary constructor defined automatically in this class. And what's the role of that constructor? That constructor will assign these three value in three fields of class account, namely account ID, name, and balance. So uh, in this tutorial, our main focus. Uh, is on how to define multiple constructor in single class so one constructor is already defined in this class and what is that constructor that constructor is a constructor which is taking three parameters and initializing this class object with these three fields now if you want to create, define three more constructor like uh, in case if a programmer is not specifying balance so in that case how to define a constructor for only two arguments so here we will use def this account id and here you can use any name if you want to use another name let's say a and and a string so this will be considered a second constructor and in this constructor what we will do we will call this primary constructor which is created by default so here we will call it like this we will pass a n and this constructor needs three arguments so as a third argument we will pass zero let's define another constructor this so in this constructor we are passing only a account id so how we will initialize this object we will call the primary constructor with a uh, name we will keep it empty no name and balance we will keep it zero and let's create one more constructor this constructor will, will be having no argument and what we will do we will call primary constructor with values like zero empty string and zero so we are done with a class so in this class total we are having four constructor three constructor we have defined and the primary constructor defined at the time of class definition now let's see the execution how it will execute here we will write main method this main method need a array of string so here i want to create a object of class account where a new account let's say account id 12 name john and balance 10,000 oh. create one more variable new account account id 13 mac one more very one more of uh, object
So we have created three objects and these objects are referenced by these three variables a, b and c. Now how to check their value? So let's define a method here which will print value of object of class account. So def show print elements. First of all, we want to print name, name, account ID, and balance. So here we will call this fun a method show for every object. Let's save it and run it. So we'll first compile our program. Scala C. Hello dot Scala. Okay, there is one error. Uh, actually, this is capital. This character I. Compile it again. Okay, it's compiled successfully. Now we will run it. So if you can see, uh, we have printed value of all these three object. So we have defined a class with four constructor, three constructor we have defined, and one constructor is defined at the time of class definition. Thank you very much for watching.